Since 1983, Enviro Technology Services has been leading the way in the design, supply and support of air quality monitoring systems. During this time, hundreds of monitoring systems and literally thousands of analyzers have been sold worldwide, from the barren, frozen winter landscape of Kazakhstan to the simmering, steamy jungles of the Philippines, from the sweltering heat of the Arabian Peninsula to the remotest and most windswept parts of the west coast of Ireland. Closer to home, Enviro technology analyzers and monitoring systems can be found throughout the United Kingdom in a wide variety of applications. In 1991, Enviro Technologies supplied the then Department of the Environment with the first 12 air quality monitoring stations. The Automatic Urban Network, or AUN, was born. Since then, over 100 UK local authorities have invested in air quality monitoring equipment with service and support contracts from Enviro Technology. Pioneering and bringing to market new technology including open path and remote sensing monitoring systems, internet data distribution, public display software and many other innovations, remains an essential part of Enviro Technologies' philosophy. Swansea City Council has taken advantage of the advanced air quality monitoring and management systems supplied by Enviro Technology Services. Here, Phil Govia from the Pollution Control Team talks about the software and monitoring equipment that has been supplied since 1993. From our screens here, we can see the data as it's been recorded out on site from all of our air quality monitoring stations. At the moment, we have five air quality monitoring stations and we plan to increase that in the near future. But all the data is relayed back to central servers um, where there is a program on the server that is automatically programmed to dial the sites every hour or whatever frequency you actually um, wish. Uh, it then verifies that data and presents it on screen so you can see the last 14 hours worth of data. This now is a basic display of just three of the air quality stations. You can set your windows up for the various gases and you can set your various averaging times up. These are all set to, to display the last 48 hours worth of 15 minute data and you get a, 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 a continuous time series of data. This site is, is basically measuring our traffic pollution um, around this busy roundabout. Uh, today I'm here to do a full calibration as part of our QA, 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 QC procedures. And what I'll be doing, I'll be checking the response of the analyzers to a gas of known concentration. Um, I'll then do a zero check um, to make sure that the analyzers are responding and I leave the site safe and um, head back to the office. This is the Opsis Doas receiver head, which is receiving the uh, light that is shone from the transmitter approximately 250 metres down the Street Canyon. It's receiving the light and it's analysing for NO2, NO, ozone and benzene. And it's primarily to make an assessment of the traffic related pollution to use in our uh, dispersion models. This site will be used to verify all of the model outputs that we receive from the systems. The measurements that have been returned by the Opsis Doas along this tight street canyon are seen as vital to validate any future computer modelling that we do on the traffic related pollution. In that end, um, Opsis have worked closely with Golden River Traffic who actually market the counters to count and classify the uh, vehicles and they've worked together on a system to import the data into the emission databases to give the best possible picture from the output of the models. This is Swansea's UK automatic network monitoring station. It feeds data onto the national network. It measures the same principal pollutants as other stations throughout the country. It's cited to exactly the same citing criteria, so decisions can be made based on viewing the data from various locations, knowing that they each meet the same criteria. There's um, a, a NOx analyzer, there's a sulfur dioxide analyzer, there's an ozone analyzer, 
and there's a PM10 analyzer, an RMPT on. Uh, again, it's typical city centre conditions that can be reflected throughout the country.